I'm kind of gagged. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on when and where you are watching. Welcome to Everybody Loves Ray. That's me. I'm Ray. And today we are going to be reacting to the last three episodes of season one of The Summer I Turned Pretty. We ended off it being July 4th. We found out that Susanna has cancer, that her husband, Adam, cheated on her while she was in chemo. And Conrad and Belly almost kissed, but Jeremiah stopped it from happening. So now I think we're really gonna start getting into the whole love triangle situation. It kind of took us a second to really get there, but I think we're finally going to get into the thick of it. It's very clear that Conrad and Belly have shown each other that they do have a thing for one another. So I'm definitely curious to see how that's going to turn out. And more with Jeremiah too, because he hasn't been as forward with Belly in the way that he feels. So it's going to be interesting to see all these dynamics play out. If you are interested in seeing unedited reactions to these episodes that are also posted before I post on YouTube, you can go to the link in my description. That'll take you to my Patreon. And I want to thank all my current patrons for the support. It means the world. Let's get watching. Stevie, I need a partner. Yeah, right. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> Copy me. <laughs> Again, like giving them both glasses. Ew, I can't. Yeah. Easy. The close-ups and the bear dogs out, it's just all a little bit too much, too soon. Good morning, smiley face? Or good morning, shy smile? Okay, wait. Good morning, sunshine emoji. She's thinking a little bit too hard. I'll be your partner for today. Aww. Really? Sure, I'm your dev sister, but you need an escort. Y'all know what I'm gonna say. Like, this would be cute if this was a thing. Basically, I just need more sapphic romances in my life. I'll leave them cheesing. Nothing even happened, sir. Cheesing again. Okay, but this is gonna be awkward with- It's like a love triangle with Jer, but then it's a love triangle with Nora. That's her name, right? No! It's getting complicated. He left me on, on red last night, and I was wondering if you've seen enough at all today. Um... Flashback. <laughs> See, this is gonna- I don't want them to have a tiff. Morning. Morning. Seriously? You're gonna have it? Thanks. It's like, what? You're in a good ass mood. He really is. I kind of like it. With some eggs. I'll make some. <laughs> Who are you? What's with a good mood? <laughs> like you don't know. You almost blew me up last night. I said I was sorry. I didn't know you guys were out there. Liar! Not them giving us the receipts <laughs> in real time. <laughs> I'm shit. So I sorry. Like it hurt. No, it's okay. It's okay. Are you no. sure you're okay? I'm fine. He's gonna step in, isn't he? I know how these things go. Okay, Harry Styles. Mm. How's this? It's better. Let's not try to even compare this man to Harry Styles, please. Let's be a little bit realistic. Oh, not him showing up too. Jeez. Wow, they're really gunning for her. All of a sudden. Catch you later, boss. Get going, Jeremiah. <laughs> this is so crazy. The smile. Oh God, this is so, this is so. I love this. This is the type of shit that I've been waiting for. But see, he needs to end it with her. Like you can't be gunning for belly. And then making this other girl believe that she has your attention. Like, that's not fair. I'm debating whether to text a woman that I had a very memorable liaison with just last night. She's a mature, divorced, talented writer that I met recently. I would immediately know. I would immediately know. She's probably hanging out with my mom right now and drinking yep. coffee and gossiping. Yup, he knows. When can I see you again? See? This is exciting. Edibles before noon? Mm hmm we're celebrating. I love this. This is the type of mom I want to be. If I even want to be a mom, which. You came just in time. Your little belly's a disaster in heels. You know, belly's actually a good dancer. The waltz is just dumb. Instant defense. Love that. That's how you want your man to be. Someone important must like you because you've been promoted to the card room. 
Well, yeah, 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 yeah. He's getting those. Good for him. I would come here since I was a kid. It's actually where I spotted my first win. Wow. She doesn't care. <laughs> He's so nice. I could hang out with him like this all summer and be really happy. Mm -hmm. But I can't mm -hmm. help thinking that I wish I was here with Conrad. Because you want screaming and crying and kissing in the rain type love. We know. Frank Ocean is playing the Yarmouth Music Festival. <gasps> Stop! Conrad's been wanting to go to Yarmouth. Does he like Frank Ocean? Loves him. Oh, 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 this man. I know I shouldn't like it, but I think it's kind of funny that he's like being a little mastermind. Another Taylor Swift song. I just have just so much shit going on. If we started something, I feel like I could fuck it up. Boys tend to do that. You can't be good with someone else until you're good with yourself. Mm. You know, I do have a theory that I think Conrad might know about his mom being sick and that's why he's been acting all weird. I feel like he found out somehow and that's why he quit football too, so he can like be around her. Maybe, maybe. Cam, I, I can't. I kind of saw this coming. I'm glad she's honest. You should be with the person you really want to be with and I hope he treats you right. This man. I'd take him if I was her, but I get I get the allure of Conrad, I do. And there's just a lot of history there. She's a free woman now and she knows what she wants. And it's not him. So sorry, babe. Well <laughs> Our mom's high key stoned right now. No way. Yeah, all my favorite snacks are gone. Courtney did oh not god. kill her. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> all the food on the island. Oh my god. Holy cow. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Man, do I wish I were them in this moment. <laughs> oh, you're such a good friend to Belly. Like a brother. He definitely does not want to be a brother. <laughs> what do you think? I think it might be my best work. Belly? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's terrible! <laughs> uh, <laughs> everything's going so positively right now, I'm scared. One of the partners at my firm, Chinese guy, all his kids got into the Ivies. I think those people were born with textbooks. <laughs> oh, that's not... That's not... That's... That's not... I mean, they give me bad vibes from the jump. That just confirmed it. Come on, let's go swim. My mom's been on me about cleaning my room. How come nobody ever wants to play with me? Oh, this is definitely a very different side of Jeremiah that we're seeing. I'm not really sure how I feel about it because like a part of it feels a little bit inauthentic to me. Or it just, I guess it just feels a little rushed, like sudden. Oh my god, the fat pelican, that dime is still here! Great! <laughs> <laughs> not letting the hair down. I love this. I wish they were like this all the time, Loki. Especially Laurel. Do they always talk like that? Oh man, fuck those guys. Don't waste your time trying to earn their respect. Take their money. She's got a point. Is the cleaning my room in the room with us right now? See, I think... I think he knows. I swear to God, he knows. Be sweet to me, baby. I wanna be He's gonna be in a bad mood. You're the only boy I've ever thought about. My whole life, it's always been you. He better not be a dick, I swear to God. I, I broke up with Cam. Why? Oh! You and I almost kissed. Did we? That was pretty wasted, I don't really remember much. The way that he is so fucking predictable. Oh, he's pissing me off. Are you serious? Okay, we almost kissed. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry. What? Really, I think about you. I do. Like, you know I do. I just can't. <laughs> you were like all That's giddy about her. I'm not and, like... waiting for you anymore. I can't. I feel like it's probably a thing because he knows his, about his mom. He just doesn't feel like he can be a boyfriend because he knows he's about to be grieving. But like, I wish he would just, ugh. I feel like these instances are gonna eventually push her into thinking more about Jeremiah this way. I'm sorry about what happened. I'm sorry too. Hooking up with your brother on your birthday was a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What's wrong? I really wish you were here. 
Well, I'm glad they're talking again because she needs her bestie, especially with these boys acting up like they are. We're gonna catch and release. <laughs> We're gonna catch <laughs> and release. I wanna be them when I grow up, but only this version. <laughs> Don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like me? <laughs> I love them! Don't you they're kind of carrying this episode for me right now. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, sir. I just want you okay, Sue, you go, girl. You slay, queen. Honey, you better work and let him know, diva. <sighs> he was talking about some busboy being a poker expert. Is that you? Apparently, yeah. <laughs> Dude, me and my boys, we got a regular game. No, this is still very slow. I can, I can sense it. I can sense it. She's being such a good friend. I'm like, I'll just wait here. You guys need anything? Some snacks? A condom? Is she crying? I can't tell. This is the part of the, the night out where you start becoming emo and crying and you start having an existential crisis. It's all so romantic. <laughs> yeah, and? Oh, I love nights like this. Warm and humid. Oh, you guys got a skinny tip? Oh, I didn't bring, uh... Come in. It's wonderful. Oh my god. Sir, at least wait until she's also on board. Jesus. Like, is she okay? Mom, let's get you upstairs. No falling today. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall. <laughs> Are we sure? I'm actually glad if he does know that he knows. And it sucks that it is kind of on him because he shouldn't be facing this alone. But I appreciate that he's helping her out. You sad you broke up with Kim? No. What is it? <laughs> it's nothing. Everything. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're my best friend. There are times I want to be more. Oh shit, he's really putting it all out there. Why didn't you say anything? Uh, there was always Conrad, and this summer it was Cam. I was just waiting. It's still kind of Conrad too. Stop! For me? Yeah. Do you think you could ever... I don't know, baby. She's been in love with your brother for years. I always hoped it would be Conrad. But here I am, about to kiss Jeremiah Fish. Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm kind of gagged. Like, I did not expect them to just get right into it so quick. Why does everything feel so quick? I don't know how I feel about this, though, because she just decided that it's, like, over with Conrad. But is it really ever over with Conrad? We've already seen her talk about losing her crush once that never actually was lost. I don't want her to lead him on, and kissing him like that is definitely leading him on. I feel like there needed to be a little bit more time for her to think it through than just do it. I feel like it was definitely more impulsive than something she actively wanted. It definitely meant more to him than to her. So I don't know. I feel like this is gonna bite her in the ass. And then Conrad's eventually gonna find out at Buell. I feel whiplash right now. Like one second we're purely platonic and the next we're making out in this swimming pool. You snooze, you lose, I guess. That was a good episode actually. I think that was one of my favorite ones. Let's go to episode six. Morning, bells. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, this is a dream. This is a dream. You and I are meant to be. Billy, wait. It's always been us. How can you not see? Now her head is scrambled. A kiss I can't stop thinking about. A kiss that's literally invading my dreams. It's invading everything. Yeah, it was a good looking kiss. Gotta say. I want you to ask Belly to be her escort. Mom, I can't. You know how much it'll mean to her if it's you. You're her prince charming and we all know it. Damn, everybody knows her feelings for him. I would hate that. You're a little on edge, my friend. It's been a bad week. How are things looking with that girl? Not good. Because of you, though. I mean, it just keeps going and going. The whole goddamn thing is infected and I didn't notice. It's everywhere and I didn't Conrad. notice. Conrad, whoa. This is a metaphor. 
This is a metaphor for his mom. Cause she's infected, you know? And you didn't know. Oh my god, it's so it's so it's it's right there. Deep breaths. Okay. In. Oh. I'm glad that he has Cleveland in his life. It's good for him to have another adult figure. What's going on? It's my mom. <laughs> Maybe you should tell your mom you know. Yes, you should. I want to, but every time I try, I don't know how. I mean, she doesn't want me or my brother to know. Finding out would crush her, it would ruin everything. I don't really think it would, to be honest. Maybe if, if I, I just keep it inside, you know. Oh, God. That's what they all do. Maybe that's what keeps her alive. No. No. I'm afraid that you'll be the one to make it real. But it is real, no matter what, so... This isn't something you can control. Exactly. This is happening, whether you say it out loud or not. Thank you, Cleveland. It's not on you. Period. I just knew that he was feeling all this fucking pressure. I'm sorry for being a jerk the other day, pretending like I don't remember when I remember everything. I just keep replaying it over and over again in my head. It's too little too late, I get it. I don't think it's too little too late, actually. I think this is everything she wants to hear. Can I take you to the ball? What? I mean, I already know all the dances. It's no problem. I'll think about it. Think about it. I would be feeling such whiplash from Conrad. It would be kind of exhausting. And I know he's going through shit, but Jesus. You are kidding me. This just makes things all the more exciting because you get to tell him no. <laughs> As if she's going to. Be for real. Also remind you of the emotionally available, fun, sweet, better looking brother who is at your feet right now waiting for you. I mean, she's got a point. I'm about to get you on Team Jeremiah, which I'm the very enthusiastic CEO of, so. <laughs> That is true. I like your visors. Steven insisted on the green because he says it makes our eyes pop. <laughs> yeah, they're really popping. Awkward. You guys look good together. You think so? It's cute. Okay, see you on the court. I'm still kind of about them, but I do also like both of them. I don't know. Don't even sweat it. He's in the rear view. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm Team Jelly. I've got your back. I don't know what team I'm on. I'm not like fully convinced of either of them yet, to be honest. My mom asked me to, to take Belly. Plus I already know the dances. Yeah, no, I remember. I know how this is gonna play out because she's been told that his mom made him ask Belly. Belly is giving the implication that he's just asking because he wants to take her to the dance. She's gonna find out. Susanna actually told him to do it and then it's just gonna cause a whole thing. No, it's just my ankle. <sighs> You, want to help you okay, Taylor? I just like twisted it. Can you sob, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like she's faking it. I feel like she's faking it. <laughs> what a fucking wing woman. Here, up, down, hip. Oh, oh. Like they're they're cute. They are. I can't deny. Yikes. That's embarrassing. Oh, you got Jeremiah! It. Oh, right. <laughs> She's getting pissed. She's literally in real time getting the egg for him. Don't look at me, watch the ball. You got it. Jer, focus! Is it really that serious? I just know that Conrad is gonna help her win this thing. Conrad, I need you to sub in. Where do you want me? Let's start. They're gonna win it now. Is this foreshadowing? I'm sorry, but this is such bad acting. He's like, I got something to prove. They're cute too. Fuck, I don't know. We got all the tunes going on this episode. Literally three different major sinks just for a volleyball scene. That was it. You got it. It's like when they're good, they're really good. But when they're bad, they're bad. And usually the person that's causing it to be bad is him. Did you ask her yet? Ask me what? To be your escort. I told him he had to ask you since, you know, it was taking you so long to decide. Susanna, why the f- I- why the fuck would she say that? Why would she reveal that? Oh my god. I did not think that she of all people was gonna say that. Jesus. 
Kill the bar. Put a finger down if you've ever made out with two people within 24 hours of each other. <laughs> oh, this is foreshadowing. I know foreshadowing when I see it. Put a finger down if you've ever made out with Jeremiah Fisher. Oh. I always had this weird feeling there was something going on between you and Conrad. Well, yes, there is. But I guess I just had the wrong brother. No, you did not. Actually, both brothers. Oh, that helps. Yo, who's Jeremiah hooking up with these days? Ah, uh, no one. Shayla has this crazy theory, bro. She thinks he's hooking up with my sister. That's such a crazy idea. It could never happen. Jared knows I would kill him if he ever touched my little sister. Well, newsflash, both of your very close friends, practically brothers, want your sister, so you're gonna have to deal with that. We've got a game going down in the basement, uh, if you think you can break away. Yeah, yeah, I'm in, I'm in. I just feel like he's, the issue with them is he's gonna start prioritizing poker over her. I hope I'm wrong. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, girl. Oh, honey. Nicole. Yeah, Conrad's texting you. Okay, coming. <laughs> Is it Nicole's phone for sure? I knew they were bitches. What's happening? Wait, what the fuck? They took everything except for your phone, which has a really incriminating text from Conbad. My mom did ask me to ask you to the ball, but that's not why I did it. I did it because I wanted to. Okay, but that's not on her. Oh, they're, they are bitches for doing that though. Have you noticed anything weird about mom lately? Yeah, she's dying. She's just been sleeping more. Yeah, it's the summertime, Jer. Our mom sleeps more when she's on vacation. Not the gaslighting. And congrats on your win today. I know how much you hate to lose. It's not about winning for me. It's about doing things the right way. Okay, sure. <laughs> There's tension here. Hey, I get it. You were right. Why can't we just call Jeremiah? We're gonna be like murder. Yeah, no. I'd be very Calling scared. Calling Jeremiah would be too much drama. What it? Like, really, would it? I got you back under the spell, and then the spell broke. I realized I literally just kicked Jeremiah to the side for him. You kind of did do that. I mean, you wanted to win, and Jeremiah was not going to win you that, so I understand. When Jeremiah and I kissed, it was real, and real is, is like, scary. Babe. I was at Hopper's Cove, and I saw your text to Belly. You flat out lied to me. This is what I'm saying. He's being messy. I've been trying to figure this out, whatever this is, but... But really, it's it's always been about Belly, hasn't it? Yeah. I've never meant to hurt you. Oh, please. You didn't hurt me. You wasted my time. There's a difference. He did. Your girlfriend and her friend are going to need this. That's really shitty of her to do, though. This isn't on Belly. The fuck? Why are you trying to embarrass her? She didn't really do anything wrong. Let's see if Steven from PA can keep this lucky streak alive. <laughs> <laughs> Who goes to a party to play poker? A big bunch of losers! It's all good, buddy. I and mean, then we all hit a wall at some point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Break? No. No. Don't keep playing, dude. Um, can you it's just. Do you want help? Cool. Imagine somebody's just like waiting in the car. <laughs> it's a crazy night. Didn't have to be. If you stopped playing all these games and just let her go, it would have been a great night. Shit, she's being real. She's being a good friend. Cause I don't mind her and Connor at all, but like, he needs to stop with this whole back and forth. I'm getting tired of it. Thank you for coming to get me. Billy, I'll always come and get you. Cute. Bare minimum, but cute. My heart's pounding. Yeah, it's been really fast. They're gonna kiss again! I was always so scared for when this moment would come, but weirdly, I'm totally fine. Because it's Jeremiah. They're so comfortable around each other. I may I said Will you go with me to the temple? I think they're cute too. I love a friends to lovers trope. I really fucking do. Like a best friends, and they're like best friends. You what? <laughs> no! No! I hate that so much. Stop texting me. It's triggering. Bad things happen when you text me. I know. I know. I feel like I keep doing the wrong thing when it comes to you. Kinda. A little bit. Always. <laughs> no, not really. I just... Shit. Don't want to lose you. This is the whole 24 hours making out with two people thing. It's manifesting right in front of our eyes. It's too late. No. 
No, it's not. She's coming back. But <laughs> I really thought that they were gonna kiss. I'm actually really proud of her for not doing that because that would kind of be sucky for Jeremiah. It would just make things really bad. Good on her. I'm glad she proved me wrong because I totally thought, and I honestly kind of would have supported her too. I love supporting women no matter what. <laughs> so no matter how messy they are. I really don't know. I think right now I'm definitely leaning more towards Jeremiah, but when it comes to like who I like more, I don't really have an opinion. I like both of them, but I also like have my issue, my separate issues with them. With her and Conrad, I know it's fully genuine with her. Him I feel like it is, but it's like too hesitant for me. I need him to be so sure. Every girl wants a guy like Jeremiah who is just like, yes, it's you. I want you, nobody else. No second guessing, no holding off. That's also hard to reject when it is someone that you are interested in too. And you know so well, and you're really comfortable with already, and you have history with. I feel like, yes, there's probably more a bit of a spark with Conrad, but like how sustainable is just, is just a spark is kind of what I'm getting at. That's why I like the mom's analogy of the whole steady and warm campfire. I definitely see that with Jeremiah. Who knows if that also is sustainable. All that is to say, I have no fucking clue. But we have one episode left and I'm guessing this is gonna be the debutante ball. Fingers crossed that we come out in one piece. You know, I still can't believe he got him to go with you. He swore up and down he'd never go to one of these things. She's special though. When they take your photograph, remember, say prune. It'll make your cheekbones look divine. Prune. <laughs> Yay! You got me the dress I wanted. Yes! Oh, Laurel knew her. You just look so uncomfortable in the other one. I didn't think you noticed. I'm your mother. I know you. She does. I know you didn't want me to be a dev. I didn't, but it's just hard to let you go. Mm. Stephen, what are you doing here? I screwed up big time. You lost a lot of funds. The money I've been saving up all summer, it's gone. And I thought I could win it back, but every hand I got, things just got worse and, and worse. you couldn't just get up and leave? Yeah, literally. No, of course not. Because you want to Liam and the other guys to think you're a baller. Ugh. Men and their small penises. Okay, I think my dad has an old tux upstairs. You can wear that. I mean, will it Will it fit? Y you know, could... Can't be asking for a lot right now, babe. For what it's worth, Jerv is the right choice. Yeah, I know. She doesn't actually know that, does she? <laughs> I'll see you at the club. Drive safe. <laughs> That's, too, That's too funny. You and Jeremiah? It just happened. Wait, wait, when? What, just now? Like a, a week ago? Oh my god, are you Oh, shut the fuck up. You just lost your entire summer stays beings. You can't even talk right now. Wait, 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 wait. So, so what about Conrad? What about him? Uh, I don't know. Maybe the fact that you've been like goo goo gaga over him since you were 10. Really? Everyone knows. I just don't want things to get all screwed up. This affects like yeah. way more than just you. I know, but you don't get a say in who I date. That's also true. I get to pick and I pick Jeremiah. Let's see how long that lasts for. Because we do have a second season. <laughs> Listen, Stephen, I would never do anything to ever hurt her. I swear. Come on, it's Billy. I kind of be I believe him. I feel like if anyone's going to be hurt, it's going to be Jeremiah. <laughs> I think Billy's going to be the one that's going to do the hurting. Hey, you guys should really talk. Yeah, she should apologize for stealing her clothes. I thought that this summer, maybe he could like me back. But the thing is, what he liked was that I liked him. You know, he never actually liked me. Well, I don't know if that's really true. It's not your fault, Comrade's a fuckboy. You're kind of a fuck girl too. Cam, Conrad, now Jeremiah. You're playing with a lot of hearts, Belly. I don't think her and Conrad are really technically any thing, though. Well, I am completely over Conrad. Like, so, so over him. No, she's not. No one ever really no, gets over their first love. Let's not be delusional, girl. We love that Nicole didn't say sorry for stealing her clothes and making her and Taylor walk naked in the middle of the night. Everything's gonna be different next year. Conrad's going off to college. Yep. And I'm dying. <laughs> I need them to know now, this instant, this very second, well, Maybe after the ball, if you don't want to really ruin the vibe, but <laughs> but they need to know now. Da -da -da. 
This is the perfect song for this. We're supposed to wait for other people to tell us before we're allowed to feel it about ourselves. But isn't that bullshit? We're all beautiful. Mm-hmm. Exactly. What if we all went on an overnight fishing trip? Dude, yeah, I'm in. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, me too. All right. We'll see if we're still in by the end of this episode. <laughs> Bro, she looks so beautiful. And as a talented vocalist, she raised $4,000 for North Children's. You're a goddess. If you ever say that to me again, I'll throw up all over <laughs> See, I like that. I like their little banter. I just like, I love the best friends to lovers. I just do, I eat it up. Why is Belly making that weird face? No idea. <laughs> How's the curtsy? Queen would be proud. Shayla Wang, daughter of Robert. I don't know about her dress. They could have given her a better one that actually like fit her body. Marissa is a student at Cherry Hill Academy. She plays center forward. On yes! <laughs> I forgot about them. I'll be right back. She raised. Can we please hold it together? I'll hold on the fort while Laurel's gone. Sometimes I think the only person you've ever truly loved is Susanna. That's not true. I mean, I'd say that. But you're gonna have to face that Susanna isn't gonna be here much longer. Don't say that. It's the truth. Laurel, the escort dance is about to start. Did he go over here? I'm gonna make it up. And now introduce this <gasps> year's deputy. Mm, he might have. He might have. Twisted, baby. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> this reminds me of that one on Carly episode. Again, I always get reminded of that Carly. When Spencer's having that dream and it's all these like little teenage boys in Texas. This is that. <laughs> yeah, he's... He knows now. He knows something's wrong. That was incredible. You were incredible. I mean, if you say so. Nice fit. Though I'm surprised she didn't make you wear matching tocks. Uh, actually, that was the plan, but... He needs to stop hanging out with these men. I'm annoyed. I well, couldn't afford it after our last game. Sorry, I didn't know it would put you out. How would you know? Yep. You can have the money back, no worries. I mean, we can play for fun anyway. No, it's fine. No, take it back. Give it to me now! I don't know where Jeremiah is. He'll be here in a minute, I'm sure. Go, get ready. Okay. He's not, and then Conrad's gonna stop in. Let's watch it happen in real time. Why are you being I mean, like this? Being like what? Oh, weird and insecure. He's I, mean, I don't know if you insecure. haven't noticed, but I don't exactly fit in here. Oh my god. Not everyone does, Jesus. I'm, I'm nothing like him. Good. Here with she me. doesn't want not him. him. <laughs> like, what is so hard to understand? I think I, I love you. Oh, duh. <laughs> Just like, I'm me. Of course you do. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Honestly, I can't blame him. I can't fault him. Because, like, this would literally rock your fucking world. Not <laughs> them playing the way I loved you. Wow. <laughs> Not me predicting. I'm, I've manifested this shit. I am so powerful. My mind, oh, it amazes me sometimes. Look at them. She's luminous. The belly Conrad is the sun. And when the sun comes out, the stars disappear. Yeah, they're holding very intense eye contact. Jeremiah, honey, where were you? I ate something. I think maybe the shrimp was bad. Uh, how do you act normal after finding out your mom has cancer? And then to walk in and see the girl that you're like basically in love with dancing with your brother? Jesus. So what did you want to tell me before? I know about Susanna's cancer. Conrad told me. Shit. 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 I found something out. Let's, let's talk about this later, no. okay? No. It's important. No. It's okay. You know, Con. And he just realized it. You already know, don't you? Yeah. Conrad knows? You know, this whole fucking time he didn't tell me. Shit, this is gonna go. Oh god, this is gonna go so downhill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. 
What is going on? Mom, we know, Mom. We both know. We know you're a cancer moon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck. All summer long, I've been thinking about myself. And Susanna was sick, and I didn't even know. That's how she wanted it. Yeah, I mean, why would you ever in your mind ever think, oh, I think my sort of aunt has cancer. Like, that's never gonna come to your head. Even if you did spend a bunch of time with her. You had to carry it all by yourself. And I have this dream where I'm screaming <laughs> Oh, not Phoebe Bridgers. <laughs> and not it being funeral. So bleak. This is so sad. I didn't want it to be like this. I mean, I knew it was going to be like this, but I don't want it to be. Oh, the painting. I'm so sorry the night turned out. They're so good. That's not how I wanted you to find out. Mom, well, you're going to do the trial, right? Chances are very slight. I just can't go through that again. Oh, but you could try. You have to try. I just want to be me when I go. <sighs> Mom, this is crazy. You have to try. You can't give up on us. Can't you just try for us, Mom? I need to. Fuck. Don't them I do the trial. I know it's going to make things harder, but I don't care what the doctors say. It's going to work. I don't know about that. I mean, I wanted to. Obviously, but it's just not reality, is it? And I don't want to get my hopes up. No matter what happens next, I will always come back to this place and these people. <sighs> I can't believe she said yes. You did it. You changed her mind. Well, it wasn't me. It was Jer. He did it. Yeah, Jer kind of carried the begging there. There's so many things I want to say to you. I don't. Not now. Why? They're going to kiss. I just know it. I need you. I don't want you to need me. I want you to want me. Mm. Knew she was gonna say that, and it's true. Valid. I do want you. Well, this is gonna make things complicated. As if it wasn't already. I don't know, I mean, like, what? She's just gonna forget about Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremiah! She's gonna forget about him. And how she was like, oh, I'm so overcome, around. which none of us actually believe that, of course. I still don't know what side I'm on. I literally don't. I feel like when the first season came out, everyone was either Team Conrad or Team Jeremiah. Even in y'all's comments of the last video, it was very split. I don't know. I see like the good in them, but neither one is like full, has fully convinced me like, yes, this is the boy she should go for, you know? But it just makes things so awkward now that it's two brothers is totally Elena Gilbert in Vampire Diaries and Stefan and Damon. Forget Twilight season one, the lead up into really all the mess. Now we really understand everyone's feelings and everyone's dynamics and stuff. And now we're really gonna see it play out next season. And I'm very excited for that, actually. I, I'll, I'll admit it, I am. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a fairly decent show. I understand why a lot of people are into it, especially a lot of teens. It's a good teen show. If you enjoyed watching, this reaction please like this video respectfully comment your thoughts below please no spoilers and as always subscribe or don't i can't make you but i would love it if you did and i will see you guys next week bye